how to sync OneDrive files with Airtable spreadsheets automatically. So what will happen every time you will upload a new file into your OneDrive folder, the same file link will be added automatically into the Airtable spreadsheet. In this way, you can keep a track record of all your OneDrive uploaded file into the Airtable that way in an organized way. And at the same time, you do not have to share the access of your OneDrive with your team. You can directly share the Airtable access with your team and in this way, Way they can find all the file uploaded from the Airtable only. Want to set this automation for yourself? Come with me and I'll show you the whole process step by step. To automate this process, I'll have to build an integration in OneDrive and Airtable application and I'm going to do that with the Pabli Connect. It is an amazing integration and automation software and I'm already an existing user of Pabli Connect. So here you can see I have already logged in into this dashboard and you can also create your free account in just two minutes. And in the free account, you will also get free tasks to test this automation. Now click on this blue button that is create workflow after reaching out to the dashboard dashboard and provide any random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i have pasted a name like when new file is uploaded in onedrive add a file link in airtable okay now click on create and then you will find two boxes in front of you so these are actually trigger and action so trigger means when this happens action means do this so whenever this happens automatically do this understand with an example also let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application okay according to our use case whenever any new file is uploaded in onedrive application then automatically add the file link into the airtable application okay so this is how we need to select the applications in which we are building an automation okay in this case we are integrating this onedrive and airtable so that is why i have selected these two application okay and i am going to connect these two application first with the Pabli connect and in this way our automation is going to take place okay so the trigger event i just have a single trigger event here so i have selected the same and now i am going to connect my onedrive account with the pabli connect okay so click on connect with the microsoft onedrive and provide the access of your onedrive account all right, so I have provided the access, clicking on yes, provided the permission and now uh, you will see how the authorization will be successful and the OneDrive account will be connected with the Pabli Connect, okay? Now, firstly, it will ask you to provide a, a folder path, set folder path, okay? So how you can do that? You can read these instructions one by one, okay? So let me take you to my OneDrive application, okay? So here I have created a folder with the name resume, so here the idea is whatever the resume someone is uploading into this specific folder i want that the link of those folders should be collected automatically into the a table so that is why i have created uh, this particular folder with the name resume so I'm going to upload all my files, all my resume in this resume folder. So that is why I will provide the folder path as the resume only. Okay. So as per the instruction, I have provided the folder path and in the event type, of course, I'm going to uh, create a file into the folder and I just have a single event type only. So it will be the same. Let me click on this button, save and send test request. And then you will see a bank blank response will be initiated will be received okay why because currently i do not have any file into this specific folder okay so how about i upload a file in front of you and then i am going to click on that button once again in front of you okay so I am uploading the resume of the Rohit Verma into this specific folder. All right, the uploading is done. Let me click on this button once again and wait for the response to receive. And here you can see as soon as I have uploaded the file into my OneDrive account, the file link is collected into my Pabli Connects dashboard. Okay, so here let me show you the details one by one. Here I have the web URL of this file. Here I have the size. Here I have the path here i have the name of the folder and i even have the name of that file that is resume of rohitverma.pdf okay and this is the downloadable url of that file okay and i am going to add this file link into my a table account okay so that my team member can directly access this file from the a table only via this link okay here we have the date as well okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that our 
automation in between Tabli Connect and OneDrive is working absolutely fine and the first step of our automation is also done. Now I am going to send these file links into my Airtable application. Okay. So firstly, I am going to create a new record and in that record, we will be adding that file link. So I have selected this action event. Okay. Click on add a new connection and for the connection, it is asking for the token. Okay. So how you can get the token, you can read these instructions uh, one by one very carefully. Make sure you read these instructions. Okay. So I have clicked on this developer hub hyperlink. Okay. And it will take me directly to that specific place from where I can actually provide all the data and I will receive the token. Alright, so as per the instruction, firstly, I will have to create a new token button. I'll have to click on this new token button, add a name, and then I'll have to select some scopes. And after that, I'll also have to select a base. Okay, so these are all the tokens which I have created previously. I'm going to create a new token in front of you. Connection with the OneDrive. You can provide any random name to your token. Okay, asking for the scopes and base. So what other scopes? I I need to select here okay so first one is the data records read then data records write data record comments read data record comments write and schema based read schema based write and the lastly web book manage okay so let me select all these scopes firstly data records read data records write and I will be adding all the scopes one by one Alright, so I have selected all the scopes as per the instructions. Now I will be adding the base also. So in this base, it has uh, it is saying that choose all workspaces option. Alright, so where is the option? And here we have the option of all current and future bases in current and future workspace. Okay, so let me select the same. And here you can see the button of create token. As soon as you'll click on that button, you will finally find the token key. Okay, so I have copied the same and then I am going to paste the same token here. Click on save. And this is how the connection in between Airtable and Pabli Connect will be successful. Here you can see it is connected and the very first thing it is asking to select us is the base ID and the table ID. Okay, so here whatever the bases I have created inside my Airtable account have started visible here. And in this case, I want to upload all my files in this specific base. The name of the base is all resumes of candidates and the table name is table one. Okay, so let me search for the same all resume. All right, here you can see all resume of candidates and the table ID will be selected automatically because I just have a single table only. Okay, and whatever the columns I have created into my Airtable spreadsheet here, you can see I have this file name, file link and the date of file creation. These three columns are visible here only file name, file link and the date of file creation since we have selected this specific base ID. Okay, so what will happen based on this base id these column names will be changed will be visible okay so let me fill the data one by one okay so firstly it is asking for the file name okay so from where i am going to provide these details so remember we have captured this data into our previous step okay so i am going to take this data and i will add this data into my a table account and i don't need to manually copy this data and paste it here okay uh, you just need to simply click on this particular field and you will find the above data here in the drop down okay so it is asking for the file name so here i will look into the file name where is the file name all right so here you can see we have the file name as resume of rohitvama.pdf okay now it is asking for the file link so where we have the file link remember i show i've shown you that downloadable url all right here we have the file link as well lastly it is asking for the date of file creation okay so where is the date well we have captured lot of dates so i am going to map this creation date okay this is the creation date and finally click on this save and send test request button and this is how the data will be added this time immediately into the Airtable. I'll have to first refresh my Airtable spreadsheet.
and here you can see the data is added already and automatically okay let me first delete this existing record okay so resume of Rohit Vama here we have the file link and the date of file creation as well and if I will click on this particular link you will find that it is the same file link which is getting downloaded all right so this is how now onwards every time you and your team is going to upload any new file here the file link will be added automatically into the Airtable so this is how you can sync your Airtable application and OneDrive application and let me tell you two important things firstly it is going to capture the data in every 10 minutes and in every 10 minutes the file link will be added okay so just in case the file links are not getting added in real time immediately don't worry about that do not get bother okay because the trigger here is the polling based and this trigger will check for the new data data in every 10 minutes you so you will have to wait for it patiently okay and the second most important thing is that whatever the details we have mapped here okay I have already told you that we will be mapping this data so mapping means uh, if you have mapped any data here this data will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time so what will happen let's say you have uploaded a new resume file of some different candidates so in that case Pabli Connect will firstly capture that data okay inside this uh, section okay and that new data will replace these existing values automatically since we have mapped this data okay so that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation and this is how this automation is going to take place and just in case I will provide any data manually in this field this data will remain same okay so this is how the process will be done okay Okay. and just in case if you want to access this automation inside your Pabli Connect account I will also attach the shareable link of my workflow into the description box okay so you just need to click on this link and sign up into the Pabli Connect and then you will be able to access this workflow this automation inside your Pabli Connect account for free and uh, once you have created this automation inside Pabli Connect you do not have to do anything manually you can simply close Pabli Connect sit back and and relax because Pabli Connect will take care of all the tasks in the backend. Not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabli Connect. And for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.